Right now it's 5.30 a.m. on a flat, calm ocean leaving from Fort Bragg, California. Currently I'm 25 miles from shore in the pitch black darkness going 20 miles per hour. That blue mark is our target destination, and that's another 10 miles away. The black screen? Well, that's my radar. It will detect objects around me. The green dot behind me? Well, that's my boat buddy for the day fishing 24-7. See you guys when the sun gives us some light. Well, what's going on, everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. We're way out here in the ocean today, about 35 miles out currently. Got my friend Chris with me. What's up, guys? So you got the Chris and Chris crew. So we're going for some tuna today, albacore, uh, around Fort Bragg. And we heard on the report yesterday, a bunch of big eyes were caught. So we got some bigger gear on as well. We're gonna get seven, raw, seven lines out. Two of them will be hand lines, but a lot of cool gear we'll be using here today. As we're dropping back right now, I'll kind of show you each piece and each lure individually. So go ahead, get trolling now. We'll go about seven miles per hour. Show you how we catch these albacore. I'm no expert by any means. This is only my third time. Chris is first. So enjoy the adventure with us and let's see how we do. All right, well, water temp is 64 degrees right now. It's actually on my fish finder, it says 66, but I know I run two degrees hot. So 64 and the marina was like 55, 56. Crazy how much the temperature changes on the way out here. All right, well, we got 200 pounds of ice with us. So the first ones we'll send back are hand lines. This is a pit bull tackle, Mexican flag color. So then on this side we have a uh, same thing from pit bull tackle, zucchini. And so they make these leaders and then you put the different, uh, I think they call them clones and drones and different type of things. We got another pit bull tackle, white one. All right, so this one, not sure on the brand, but it's a little different style, a little lighter weight. We got one. Right. Keep going for a little bit. All right, let's just get this one in real quick. I don't think it's too big. This is a small one. Here, get ready to grab it and fling it in. It's a skipjack, I think. Or no, I think that's not what we're on. All right, we're on the board. All right, the funniest albacore lure, the cedar plug. Gotta run one of those. That's the next one we're throwing back. I don't know if it'll work, but we got it and there's big fish in the area, so let's put it back. So the seventh line we're putting out, it's gonna be this Mad Mac. We got the 160 size on because we're trolling on albacore speed. Start slowing down. That's fine, right there. Just go ahead and bring in this hand line. It's, it's stuck on my line right now. Turn to the other way a little bit. I'll try and just swing it in. So turn left. There we go, albacore. 
There we go. So they're both albacore, one just pretty dang small. There we go. Pretty cool to start off with two in 15 minutes and we lost one as well. So now the action's really gonna pick up. A bunch of lines are about to go off. First, the starboard side hand line gets hit. We don't have time to realize it because both middle rods get whacked. At some point during all of this, the other hand line gets hit. We knew a quad hookup would make for a mess. It's game on. Terry, double, double, double. Uh, as as it well, I'm in the hand line. Hold the rocks. Get going, please. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this one's got one hand line, hand line fish. Uh, we thought the other fish came off, but it got tangled in the other hand line, which also has a fish on it. Oh, there's another fish on here, Chris. No way. Oh, oh, maybe you got to slow down. Slow this down. That was the one. Here, grab it. There's two fish here, I think. <laughs> two. Grab this one. Hurry, my hands are hurting. <laughs> oh my. Was that a five? Four. Four. Gonna try and clean up as we go today. You get all this blood out here. And if you get it while it's still wet, you know, it cleans up so much easier than letting it dry. I mean, great start. We've been out here for about one hour now. We just got a quad. I mean, we're not getting the greatest grade of, of albacore. Those ones are probably, you know, 10 pounders or so. Looking for some 20 pounders here soon. Um, we, we haven't circled around yet. We've basically just been driving south the whole time. We came out to, uh, a certain line and we're just go taking it down south now uh, hopefully we run into some uh, bigger grade fish here at some point maybe one of those big eyes I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put an underwater camera on right now maybe not ideal for the albacore fishing but let's see if we can see some fish on camera Gonna go ahead and switch this big one off right here and put on one for an albacore. So we'll have six running for albacore and keep the one far back with the Mad Mac on. All right, this is our current setup. We got all these lines for the albacore. And that one with the Mad Mac. So luckily we got that quad giving us six in the boat now. Uh, that was about 45 minutes ago. We've circled that area. I can't pick up any more there. So we're going to move on from there now. Um, but yeah, it feels pretty good to have six. Radio sounds like, you know, some fish here and there. But yeah, I feel like we're doing pretty good. Wonder what the uh, underwater camera footage is picking up. If there's uh, any swimming by.
Feels great to get two more on the boat now. We went for a stretch of probably an hour and a half after those six pretty early, if nothing. Picking up these two, like I said, it feels real good here. Um, smaller grade fish for us today. Let's go ahead and give one of these away. I mean, I'm guessing maybe around 10 pounds, maybe even a little less. Seven and a half pounds. Small albacore, but still happy to have eight of them. I am ready for a bigger fight though. Chris was just saying that too. I mean, these are fighting pretty good, it's fun, but last year was catching 20, 30 pounders. And whoa, big difference. Feel like you have something really big on, so. I have a feeling it'll happen soon. We'll be fishing for, you know, quite a while longer, so. Should have a big one here soon. Well, my feeling of catching big ones coming soon was spot on. This would be the moment that all started. Remember that Mad Mac we were trolling far back? It's about to go off for the first time in five hours. Oh my God. Oh yeah. This feels different. All right guys, this was the big lure in the back. The Mad Mac, we could have a big one on here. Here we go, double. So my guess, guys, is this is like a 20 pound albacore or something. So far back. Yeah, go ahead, Mikey. This stuff. See that one? Yeah. Chris. Not a great graph job. No, it doesn't matter. That's great. Beauty. Wow. So there's the 20 pounder. Finally a good one. Huh? On the Mad Mac. It's going down too, huh? Might be a big fish. Real, pound him. Not yet? Dude, that might be a big one. That's not, that's some, that doesn't seem right. And it went down. 
Uh, I mean, it's the drag. The drag's pretty tight on that thing too, right? It's like, there's not even a comparison. That might be a, a big eye. The fact that it went deep right away, like my, like my, on the Mad Max, down on the surface. You're gonna have to try and reel though. Turn that clicker off too. People don't like clickers for some reason. All right, well, this is the fish we've been waiting for. I'm gonna clear all obstacles out of the way. He's swimming up right now and we're going with him, right? Get that line, Chris, get that line. Oh, he's directly. Okay, so that's what happens then. We're 25 minutes into the fight and are at the point where we have the fish below the boat. My guess is it's roughly 75 yards out at this moment. This is both of our first experiences with a tuna of this caliber. I can see Chris, he's getting a little tired and I want to see what this fish feels like. Do you want a breather? We got this. Maybe a breather would be good. Put my, you can finish it. Put my back brace on. Yeah. It's, it's pulling right now. <clears throat> He's not happy to have fresh arms on him right now. I thought he, I was getting really close. There's the pink. Well, we're getting that then. Chris, take it. You want it? Here, finish it off. Real, real. You're at 25 yards, that means. You're real close, man. That pink's 25 yards. He got past it, huh? You want me to try and pound on him real quick again? Yeah. I'm happy we caught him on the biggest reel though. Oh, man. Yeah, what were the chances? If you're curious, the rod we're using is the Akuma PCH Custom Triple XH. The reel is the Akuma Makaira 30 with 100 pound hollow core line with 100 pound fluoral leader. We're very lucky this fish was hooked on this setup. And even with that, there is no power town like I did in the first attempt. This fish fought a lot harder when it got close to the boat. Could be a. That is a slug. Could be a blue shark. <laughs> no, it's, it's our big eye. It has to be. He's not tired yet. Woo! Running through that trench. That's what it was, huh? Yeah, we were running right through the trench. We had just passed to the other side of it. Wow, he's still taking line. Look at this, guys. We had him to the leader, too. I know. And like more than halfway. <clears throat> oh my god. Let's try this two speed thing out. If you're unfamiliar with the two-speed reel, what it allows you to do is change the gear ratio. Example is if I was bringing in four feet of line per crank, now it'll be two feet. But the advantage is it's easier to crank the reel. The downside is if the line starts to get slack, you can't retrieve the line fast enough. See the two-speed's how you lose them though. Because it's like all of a sudden it gets loose and I can't reel. I know. It's scary. <clears throat> I think it's gone. All right, you want to jump back in? Oh yeah, here we go. So both gaffs are by your head, whichever one you want. The leash is on. You're getting close. No color yet, huh? Couple times now, we thought we were getting close. This is the ultimate battle of tug of war. One side is fighting for their life, the other side wants to fill their bellies with some fresh sashimi. Oh, I see the lure. But I didn't see any color. 
I saw like a green thing going by. It's like we need to take 10 feet and have them only take eight, you know, at this point. Mm -hmm. This is unbelievable. What a fish, huh? Every time we get it up there, it goes back that way. So I think it's got some fight left in it. No, 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 no. Well, no, I don't know nothing we can do. Yeah, God damn it, there he goes. Wow, he... So he gave a little run and now he's tired a little bit. I'm almost at the pink line. Yep. It's touching the reel almost. All right, you ready? I got you back to the pink. Okay, we start reeling, I'm going in gear. The fish started moving in front of the boat and then to the other side, somewhat of a scary moment. We decided it'd be best to move slowly forward and to the right and hopefully put the fish back in position. We're also concerned with the line possibly rubbing on the boat. And yeah, we're back to the main line after this last run. How's it looking? But is the boat doing a good thing? Straighten out or keep going turning right? Yeah, they get scared from the boat, I think. You're switching? Oh, he's, whoa. This is the biggest fight I've seen him give me yet. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't. No, I mean, I'm fine. They got a good grip on him, but he's pulling the line again. Going more. Arms and hands are so yeah, this thing might be huge. There's the pink. I want to get some pink and give it back to you. So I can run again. He's coming up towards the surface. Kinda, the uh, yeah. His first time doing that, huh? Interesting. He's running on the surface. Oh, there it is. Way back there on the surface. Okay, here, Chris, we're getting closer now. We're in pink, I don't know if you realize that. Here, take it. There it goes, unbelievable. Well, that was super disappointing. Like you, we really wanted to see it. There were several big eye tuna caught the day of, the day before, and the day after. So it's pretty safe to assume that was our chance. Here are some pictures I saw online from the day in case you hadn't seen any of them yet. 
They range from 100 to 250 pounds. Back at the dock later that day, we asked Fish and Game if they'd seen any. They said seven came in, two over 200 pounds. Just popped or what? Quick examination of the hook and you can see something went wrong. The standard albacore hooks are these two prongs. Problem is the loop at the end of the line could slide between the two shafts and pull the barb right out. Wow, guys. If you see Pitbull Tackle puts these heat shrink to hold it together, this was the one bait not from Pitbull Tackle and didn't have that piece holding the hooks together. Would it have held is unknown. Why did it hold for 53 minutes and finally pop? I guess it found the right angle. I learned if you hear big fish are around, don't use two prong hooks. He changed his strategy, went to the surface, and somehow it changed the angle on the hook thing, the line. Pretty demoralizing. We have like everything stripped down on the boat. That was the go home fish. Regrouping right now. I mean, we're so far out here. We gotta get the lines back in and, and see what's next for us. All right, well, there's only two of us, so we can't help the other person bring their fish in. Well, at least I think I have mine first, so try and swing this in, then I'll help Chris out. Let me know when it's, it's ready. Right here. Well, you wanted to feel a good albacore, you got one here, huh? What the heck? What do you have on? I don't know, this is big head shapes. Does the albacore do that? Uh -huh. Yes. Get that one. He's a big one. That's on your. The, that's your biggest. On the underwater channel. That's the biggest of the day too. Heck Woo. yeah. What the middle rods? Yeah. They've been the hot ticket, not the hand lines. You know, it's funny. It? All right, so we're at 15 fish now. We're getting a little pooped. Our plan is to get one more albacore. We're 40 miles from land. You got another five, 10 miles of fishable water heading back towards land. So plan is to get one more, put us at 16, and then we're gonna start trolling back in for about five or 10 miles, pick the gear up. I mean, we're still have another hour of fishing or so that means, so let's see how many more we can get. But we got 15. Finally a cedar plug fish, it's been a while. Okay. Color. <clears throat> there we go. 
go. All right, well, there's a cedar plug fish. Isn't that funny that they bite the piece of wood with a weight on it? Well, that put us at 18. Our goal was 20 today. Can we get the last two now? I think so. How many more miles, Chris, you think? He's thinking like three miles. We're in 63 degree water right now. And then all of a sudden it drops into like 58. So probably at that temp change right there, we'll probably lose the halibut bite. Or halibut bite, albacore bite. All right, let's take a look at our big ones here. I want to go ahead and give that one a, a measure on the length and the weight. It's huge. Check all those out though. Those are the some of the bigger ones right there. Kind of just getting situated before we catch our last two here, maybe. So uh, yeah, let's see what that fish weighs. Whoa. That's a pretty cool fish. Chris was right, 27. Not, not sure the, uh, not sure the proper way to uh, measure a tuna, but if you go to the fork, like almost 34 to the tail, 36. Well, we started off getting a bunch of small ones. Feels good to get some big ones at the end. Nice 27 pounder, almost a yardstick, big old albacore. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and probably head in here pretty soon. See if we can uh, get another one or two to bite here. Um, so if you guys want to see us fillet some of these fish, I'm gonna try to show some quick clips here of you know what the albacore look like when you cut them up. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And I'll catch you on the next one. And here's some quick uh, clips of us flaying it. All right, so we're gonna cut up the uh, 27 pounder right here. Big old albacore. Look at that thing. <laughs>